Hello, my name is Mariah Carter and I'm applying for Arkansas Governor's School Visual Arts category. The media that I prefer to work in is chalk pastel, mostly because it's really easy and fun to use and you can use you can make bright colors with it. You can also layer it on very thick or thin. Over the past two years, I've gone to AYAA, Arkansas's Young Artists Association, and I've won second place in Chalk Pastel Realistic. I'm also a member of my school's art club, and I am in, currently enrolled in AP Drawing, and last year I took Drawing too. I also take pottery lessons at the Arkansas Art Center on Wednesdays. Um, ever since I was a kid, I've always liked to draw. Um, <laughs> whenever I had any type of art materials around me, I'd always take it and draw on anything, even if it was the walls. In preschool, I used to live in Lima, Peru, and lots of the buildings there and all the structures, like the playgrounds, they always used really bright, bold colors. Um, this is why I think one of my favorite artists is Matisse. He also uses really bright, bold colors and really large shapes in his art. His art always makes me happy because of these colors. And this is one of my favorite pieces. It's a chalk pastel portrait of my father. Um, I used bright colors and I used a looser style than I usually do and I'm really happy with how this piece turned out because I was able to incorporate all these colors into the same piece. This is another one of my chalk pastel drawings. This is of a frying egg or a fried egg and I think this piece is successful because it looks very realistic. I was able to man manipulate the chalk pastel to create lots of lights and shadows and different textures to make the egg look more realistic. This is a picture, a chalk pastel drawing of packaged food. I think this piece was successful because I was able to capture the different undertones of the meat, like the purples and the blues and the pinks of the raw chicken meat. I drew this piece because I would like to highlight um, the mass production of meat and food in our society. Lots of our times our food is mass produced and even though it is economical, in the long run, it ends up creating a lot of more waste and it, it's not always the right choice because of the way they treat the animals or even the way that they treat some of the workers. This is a portrait of my friend Lexi. I used um, drawing pencils, graphite. Um, I was really happy with how this piece turned out too. I was able to add lots of details and I was able to add lots of dark shadows and bright highlights to make the piece more realistic. I was also very happy with the detail I was able to add with the eyelashes and the hair. I feel like most of the pieces that I draw are inspired from the things that I like or the things that are around me. For example, I like to draw my friends and I really like to draw food because food's really yummy and it makes me happy. This is another one of my pieces. It's a chalk pastel drawing of a person cutting a pepper, a bell pepper, a green bell pepper. My favorite thing about the piece is how I was able to incorporate detail. I was able to make the pepper look somewhat waxy and I was able to add water droplets on the pepper. This is another one of my pieces. I used mixed media. I used 
chalk pastel, oil pastel, watercolor, and colored pencil. For section two, the artistic performance, the artist that I chose was Elaine Gakunin. She is a painter who created both abstract and figurative paintings of still life and portraits. She was an abstract expressionist and figurative expressionist painter from the mid-1900s. Her husband, William de Koenig, was also an artist that she got inspiration from. Many of her subjects were also artists, and they were mostly men. One of her subjects was former President John F. Kennedy, who she did a concentration on. The series of portraits, some being larger than 10 feet tall in size, was one of the most important commissions of her career. She used her brush to recreate she used her brush to create vivid strokes that defined his personality. Her active strokes reminded his restless person resembled his restless personality that also made him somewhat hard to draw. The Koenig would often focus on a characteristic pose that would define the subject. So I decided to focus on a certain feature in my subject that would also define them. This is a chalk pastel portrait of my mother. I use chalk pastel because it's the medium that I love and I also find really fun to work with. I also thought that I could somewhat capture the active strokes of the Kooning's paintworks. By using chalk pastel, I was able to blend two of our styles. I incorporated somewhat neutral colors into the piece, doling out very bright colors with grays and browns. I also included the idea of reoccurring colors that the Koenig used in many of her portraits, such as Prelude Number no. 1. I include colors from the main subject's skin into the background and clothing with purples, pinks, and yellows. I also blended the Kooning style with mine by loosening the strokes of the figure and incorporating more colors. I really enjoyed creating this piece because of my mother's facial expression. I chose to do this picture because of the memories I had from that moment. I made the eyes dark, making it one of the mo main focal point points of the piece. By emphasizing the eyes, the defining characteristic of my subject, I was able to capture her emotions, showing who she really is. When I took my reference picture, me and my mom were eating lunch together. I wanted to highlight the happiness of the moment with a type of strong strokes of pastel. I used quick, fast strokes that were bold and short for the subject, while I used long and faint ones for the background. I wanted to bring the figure into the front and express her confidence and strong-willed personality with the short, bold strokes. The long and faint strokes create less of an attraction, allowing more focus on the figure and making the background look blurred, giving more focus to the main figure. It also creates more of an abstract background. I really did enjoy creating this piece because it brought me out of my comfort zone. I'm not always used to creating pieces with loose, a loose style, and I never created a portrait this large before. It was really fun working with these colors and using the Kooning's art as an inspiration. If I could do this work again, I would probably try to make it with looser strokes and more of a single color scheme. But I'm still really happy with the outcome of this piece. Thank you for listening.